In abstract algebra, a principal ideal domain, or PID, is an integral domain in which every ideal is principal, i.e., can be generated by a single element. More generally, a principal ideal ring is a non-zero commutative ring whose ideals are principal. Although some authors refer to PIDs as principal rings, the distinction is that a principal ideal ring may have zero divisors whereas a principal ideal domain cannot. Principal ideal domains are thus mathematical objects that behave somewhat like the integers with respect to divisibility. Any element of a PID has a unique decomposition into prime elements. Any two elements of a PID have a greatest common divisor. If X and Y are elements of a PID without common divisors, then every element of the PID can be written in the form X plus Y. Principal ideal domains are no Ethereum. They are integrally closed. They are unique factorization domains and Dedekind domains. All Euclidean domains and all fields are principal ideal domains. Principal ideal domains appear in the following chain of class inclusions. Commutative rings integral domains integrally closed domains unique factorization domains principal ideal domains Euclidean domains. Fields finite fields examples. Examples include k any field z the ring of integers k x. Rings of polynomials in one variable with coefficients in a field. Furthermore, a ring of formal power series in one variable over a field is a PID since every ideal is of the form Z i, the ring of Gaussian integers, Z omega, the Eisenstein integers. Examples of integral domains that are not PIDs, Z x. The ring of all polynomials with integer coefficients, it is not principal because the ideal generated by 2 and x is an example of an ideal that cannot be generated by a single polynomial. K, x, y. The ideal is not principal. Modules. The key result is the structural theorem. If R is a principal ideal domain, and M is a finitely generated R module, then is a direct sum of cyclic modules, i.e., modules with one generator. The cyclic modules are isomorphic to for sum. If M is a free module over a principal ideal domain R, then every submodule of M is again free. This does not hold for modules over arbitrary rings, as the example of modules over shows. Properties In a principal ideal domain, any two elements A, B have a greatest common divisor, which may be obtained as a generator of the ideal. All Euclidean domains are principal ideal domains, but the converse is not true. An example of a principal ideal domain that is not a Euclidean domain is the ring in this domain no Q and R exist, with 0, R, less than 4, so that, despite and 4 having a greatest common divisor of 2, every principal ideal domain is a unique factorization domain. The converse does not hold since for any UFD K, K, X, Y is a UFD but is not a PID. Every principal ideal domain is no Ethereum. In all unital rings, maximal ideals are prime. In principal ideal domains a near converse holds. Every non-zero prime ideal is maximal. All principal ideal domains are integrally closed. The previous three statements give the definition of a Dedekind domain, and hence every principal ideal domain is a Dedekind domain. Let A be an integral domain. Then the following are equivalent. A is a PID. Every prime ideal of A is principal. A is a Dedekind domain that is a UFD. Every finitely generated ideal of A is principal, and A satisfies the ascending chain condition on principal ideals. Admit a Dedekind Hesso norm. A field norm is a Dedekind Hesso norm, thus, shows that a Euclidean domain is a PID. Compares to, an integral domain is a UFD if and only if it is a GCD domain satisfying the ascending chain condition on principal ideals. An integral domain is a Bezout domain if and only if any two elements in it have a GCD that is a linear combination of the two. A Bezout domain is thus a GCD domain, and gives yet another proof that a PID is a UFD.